Hey, what's up, freaks and geeks? How you doing today? I'm uh, Justin Cristelli, the real Manos. Excuse me. Ah, oh, that's good coffee. So, hey, I'm back with a new comic review, and I'm going to be reviewing this week uh, some comics that have come out over the last couple weeks that I uh, just picked up. And uh, there's going to be no Marvel books in this one. Uh, I actually have two comics that are based on old cartoons. Uh, and uh, a old favorite character and a new favorite character? I don't know. But anyway, this week I picked up uh, Satana, Bring Down the House, uh, number one. Gotcha Man, number one. Uh, Chitara, number one. And Precious Metal, also number one. Oh, uh, there are a lot of number ones in this issue. So, hey, let's start with uh, Zatanna, Bring Down the House. And I'm a big fan of Zatanna. She is one of those characters that I really do think DC keeps kind of sleeping on. Like, I know they, they tend to put their money behind uh, Constantine all the time, and I frankly prefer this character, and I don't know why. She's such an easy sell for, like, this iconic, cool character. Uh, and I don't know. They just kind of don't seem to know what to do with her a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is book one, and this is a black label book, and oh no, Batman's not in it! What the heck? Uh, of course, these are like books that are, eh, loosey-goosey, probably not connected to black, uh, regular continuity, or whatever the hell that is over at DC. Uh, and this is written by, uh, let's see, uh, Marquino, uh, Tamaki, let's see, uh, Javier Rodriguez is doing the art. And it uh, flashes back uh, a couple times uh, to her childhood as she's trying to train and become a great magician. Uh, but, you know, things aren't as going as well as she had hoped. And we flash to the present, where she is a struggling uh, stage magician in Vegas, uh, performing free shows, basically. Uh, let's see. Free shows. Like, you can get a, you can get a free ticket if you had a pool pass. That's kind of lame. Oh, so not the best. And she re also refuses to call herself a magician. Uh, it's like, hey, you're a magician that culture doesn't call yourself a magician? What are you, Penn and Teller? Uh, but anyway, uh, she keeps seeing this one woman over and over again at her shows. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Over and over again, just wearing different clothes, but always wearing some shades, and it's starting to bug her. It's starting to really weird her out. So she uh, just uh, comes to like confront her uh, <laughs> while on stage. She goes, "Well, I'm looking for an assistant." Hey, you! What are you doing here? <laughs> and like, you've been here eight times, and she says, "Actually, I've been here twelve times." And she says, what, you don't like trick? Do you like tricks? And I mean, she's getting really irritated about her. And she says, no, I don't like tricks. I like magic. And this thing appears, this beautiful creature, uh, like starts flame throwing everything. Uh, people are running, screaming, uh, and they escape together. Uh, and they start, con she starts confronting her about her past. And we get kind of like this tense, cliffhanger of her her past uh, and where we might be going. So this might be a bit of an origin story for uh, the character. And uh, absolutely gorgeous art. Uh, let's see, Rodriguez is just stunning. And uh, let's see, Tamaki's uh, work is really solid in, in this. Very good stuff. Uh, I love this a lot. I actually would... Uh, it's, it's early. This is the first issue. But I, I think this is just as great as the uh, Paul Dini stuff and might be better. Let's see how they uh, stick the landing on this. So anyway, let's go back to the 70s with Gotcha Man. And Gotcha Man, or Battle of the Planets, which, uh, which was how I remembered it as a uh, kid, was my first anime, by the way. And I loved it. It was basically this night. It was kind of like superheroes, but done in an anime way. Uh, and this is written by Colin Bunn with Chris Batista. And it's uh, kind of a new uh, you know, reboot of uh, the series. And uh, the science ninja team, Gotcha Man, is uh, equipped to defend the world from Galactor, which is sort of like an evil organization. You know, like, like, uh, like Cobra, uh, you know, Hydra, you know, MAGA. You know, with those evil corporate, corporate, those evil people trying to take over the world. So... 
Uh, we get to see, you know, them introduced. We get to see uh, the monster. Here's the thing uh, that's interesting about uh, Gaucho Man is they fight these things that look like monsters, but they're basically spaceship robot things, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, so anyway, this is basically a kind of come together uh, issue. The team's already put together. There seems to be a team they're putting together to succeed them. Uh, and you get to see like the layout of you know their different vehicles and how they you know form uh, the spaceship God Phoenix, uh, which is still one of my favorite spaceships uh, of all time. It's really fun. Uh, they get into this battle, uh, and things look serious. It's you know a pretty typical you know good start uh, on an issue. I give that a strong uh, four round chips, especially if you're an uh, old school fan of. Gotcha Man or uh, Battle of Planets like me. So, uh, alright, speaking of old cartoons, here's Chitara from uh, the Thundercats comic from uh, Dynamite. This is written by uh, Suli Demonica. Uh, Carbon is the artist. And uh, Dynamite was just, they just knew they had lightning in a bottle with this series. They already like launched a uh, Chitara miniseries. And this is mostly a character story, uh, and it flashes back to Thundera before, you know, the Great Fall, and we get to see her kind of, like, becoming, like, you know, this, hold on, <laughs> this is Johnny Quest preview. Uh, why did they put it in the front like that? But anyway, you get to see the world through her eyes and how she's dealing with young Tigra before the mustache and Jaga. Uh, you get to see that they had cars. Uh, it's kind of weird to see it here, but here it is. They have cars. Oh, uh, and you get to see her with the a team. She's kind of like a a young version. Uh, she's a young member of the Thundercats, and she is like taking young Lion-O under her wing and sort of becoming a mother figure to him. Uh, and then, of course, it ends with this terrible prophecy of something bad happening. It's like, oh, I, I think I know what that is. Uh, this is pretty good. I'm also going to give this four Ram Chips. Uh, if you're digging the uh, the new uh, Thundercat series, it's definitely worth your time. So, hey, uh, this week I decided for the heck of it to pull a book that I've never read before, and this kind of caught my eye, so I decided to check it out. It's called Precious Metal, number one, and it is from Darcy Van Polgeest and uh, Ian Bertram. And what I didn't realize, and this is totally my fault, was that it is a spin-off one-shot from Little Bird, and that's the image comic that I have not been reading. I'm aware of it, but I don't know anything about it. And this didn't help too much <laughs> as far as letting me uh, in on the whole universe and what the series is about. It doesn't do the Stan Lee method where every issue is everyone's first issue, so we help you along. And nope, does not do that. Modern comics really don't do that anymore. Um, so I had to kind of read this twice to feel like I kind of like had an idea of it. Uh, doesn't really. Uh, I don't really understand much of what uh, the Little Bird series is, but kind of doesn't matter because this issue follows Max, who is sort of a gun for hire, and he is hired to bring in this kid who's been, like, taken hostage by this cult, and the experience changes him. Uh, not physically, but emotionally, spiritually, it just it changes his whole head around. Uh, and it kind of sends him off on this like new mission, which I presume is in the Little Bird series. I don't even know if this character is a lead character or a side character, but uh, the visuals are just stunning. That's the first thing that really grabbed me was how gorgeous uh, this book is, and like this scene of this black sea is just absolutely gorgeous. Blew me away, um, and of course we got you know these you know giant like spectacles right here this is a obvious a future earth that is unrecognizable to someone like me and you get to see how like stunning this world is and what uh pogies does uh is rooted in a genre you're familiar with in this case uh uh film war you know, you know we have this detective rogue character supposed to like go in a typical case with crime people and it leads them on to some other thing uh, that really does change their perspectives. And that's a really good idea because you're, you're, you're throwing yourself, you're getting thrown into this crazy world with different visuals and it's such an alien world uh, that when you do that, that gives somebody a nice kind of like, uh, like just, it, it grounds them. 
frankly. Uh, and it certainly ground me, because I'm a big film noir fan, so that, that helped me a lot kind of get into this. And it does, like, pique my interest. Like, maybe I should check out the Little Bird series. So it does work in that regard. I really enjoyed this, and it uh, had caused me to kind of give it to a couple of rereads. So uh, I'm going to give Precious Metal uh, 5 out of 5 round chips. I thought this was excellent. Uh, so, those are the comics I read this week, and uh, let me know in the comments below, is there any other comics uh, that I should be reading, should be taking a look at? Uh, let me know, and you can tell me what you thought of these comics if you read them. Uh, you can find me all over the place. I'm on several social medias, like Instagram, Threads, uh, I'm still on Twitter. Uh, you know the deal. And I'm also, uh, you can support the channel and Manos Publishing, uh, just starting at a dollar a month over at Patreon. Uh, I'm about to make some big announcements uh, soon. I think later uh, next week I'll uh, do a video. Uh, if you're following me on social media, you already know what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make it all official uh, soon. But uh, I think that's it. Push the button, let's see.